So I zoomed in on him and I decided to take a picture. I clicked that little camera button and I'm saving it as a name. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And so that's great to play with, you know. If you want to upload a picture or email one, they'll charge you 10 linden, which is cents or a cent or so. Maybe a bit more, two cents. But since you start off with no money in your um, uh, linden at the top right side, you'll see how many lindens you have. It'll say zero. So um, since you have no money, best to save the picture to your desktop. To add money to your account, you need to do that on the website. You log in and you can add money into your account by use of a credit card. Or you can have someone give you some money who has money here in Second Life. You don't actually need it unless you want to buy something like a new avatar or clothes or land or so I'm right clicking on myself and clicking um, edit my shape and I'm just going to show you here about editing your shape you can choose to be tall you don't have to be the default avatar they gave you you can do whatever you want you change your hair color make yourself up big ears and again you can replace this avatar with a brand new elegant avatar with different type of skin like like translucent type skin or um, by wonderful hair there's lots of things you can do to make your avatar a bit more um, let's say a little bit more uh, beyond what you get as the default avatar just try this out kind of fun to play around but there's no undo button on it so whatever you do you do I can drag these things over to myself to wear them or right click on the item and then click wear again. Now select your destination. So our last stop on this orientation is to um, select either a place to go shopping, you want to explore places, there are thousands and thousands of places. So now I've clicked on the, um, the places and it's brought up piles of places. One of them is, they're just resing here, um, suggesting going to this uh, castle island. So I'll give that a try. I see lots of green dots, that means people. The green dots indicate uh, people using Second Life who are on that island. So we're teleporting. And here we landed on that island. So remember these parts of the world are all on uh, on many different servers. I, I think there's 20,000 CPUs and so or something like that. And so you're just locked being sent to somewhere else on the server. And you can click on anything, it will give you the information to tell you that you can go there or um, it'll put something into your inventory. Your inventory is on the right side. The inventory and a lot of other information about yourself is on the panel that opens up on the far right part of the window if you click the arrow that's pointing to the left. And if you um, are given landmarks, or which are the, is the way to get to another place or another island, they will go into the area with the, where the globe shows there, if you go to the globe. If you buy things or people give you things, they go into the area where the suitcase is. 
and what you're wearing or what else, if you want to put something else on you go to the t-shirt there that will be your that will show you your appearance and your clothing uh, all the other things on there are your group and your profile ah more new people I'm guessing red arrow that you see and that long kind of glow above it that's um, for when you teleport somewhere if you don't quite land where um, where you're supposed to land um, you'll see that and you walk towards the red arrow and you'll get you'll reach your destination some places just have one drop-off spot on an island and so if you've teleported to somewhere else it will you'll have to walk the rest of the way so I've just clicked on that right um, the arrow button there that on, on that opens the right panel and I went to the destination guide and I was going to look in here and pick a different place to go to or at least show you that you could if you you don't need to just stay in one place you can just try and get around what we haven't looked at yet is the top right is a search area you can search for things in that and uh, go that way someone sent me an IM so that an instant message, it showed up as a little picture in that top, in this um, lower right um, menu bar here. And it's um, the woman that we walk by on the patio. So she asked me a question, so I actually clicked add friend to ask her if she wants to be my friend. And then she'll be on my list of people um, and that'll show up under my communicate button on the top menu. And so if I wanted to chat with her or send her an IM later on, I could. You know, basically, I wanted to show you how to do that. So I'm just practicing my flying. And it says there that she accepted my friendship offer. Okay, so I should have someone under my communicate list. I'll have a, a friend. So I typed in thanks. Aha, there she is. And if I want to know something about her, I can click. There was a little I there for information. Find some information about her. She's asking me, did you just start? So, um, yes I did. With this new avatar, I'm actually owning up here. So I'm clicking the speak button to see if my speech would work. And you can see the green icon moving above my head. That's because my speech is on and I'm actually talk. I was talking. Now I'm talking again. Okay, I turned it off. So if you want to talk to someone, you click that speech button and the green icon shows above your head. And then when you want to stop, just click it again to stop talking. Otherwise your microphone will be wide open and it'll echo in other people's mics. So once you finish talking, close your mic and always try to let one person speak at a time. So I tell her that I'm making a movie, and would you like to be in it? And the movie is How to Log Into Second Life. Nice and boring here. But using the new viewer too, so it's um, pretty important to see how the viewer has changed from the previous one. I hated it at first, but now I like it. The benefit of the viewer too is that um, while using this, when you're in Second Life, if you create an object, you can drag a URL from the web onto it. It might be like a, a site like a, a Colorillo, where you can, you know, do um, real-time um, coloring, you know, on, on a website. And you could then do that in Second Life, or you can um, the URL for a movie on YouTube, and you could, you know, put that and play that in Second Life. So that's that's what supported by this new viewer. So very, very cool. And James Cook, who who's with us, he developed. He's one of the developers of the viewer too. So I've zoomed in on her as so we can see closer up. And we see her um, group name at the top, and then we see her name underneath it, which is uh, Champal Lionheart is her name, and 
her group is above that. Something, I forget what it says there. She looks like she's trying to fly, and now she's going down. So that's, she probably, she is probably using her um, move menu to go up and down. Ooh, look at me, I'm way out there. So I'm going to world to the very bottom option there, sun, and I'm going to pick midnight, so that's night. Now I'm actually going to go and look at the enhanced um, or the advanced editor and I can choose how I want the world to look. This is great for filming. So I love this one, big fluffy blue clouds. I, I use this a lot because it has movement and color and the water is set to glassy I believe. You can edit the water too, so I like the water to look nice. Oh, super cool, hey? Okay, this is one tiny, tiny little speck in Second Life, just a place to get us started. The first place after our welcome island. Okay, so I'm saying bye to her. And I'm going to log off me. Exit Second Life. Quit. Okay.